One of the best ways to keep your body functioning at its best, start the day and stay hydrated. But it turns out more than four out of 10 people in the US, they don't drink enough fluids. There's not enough water. It's just, in fact, a lot of people get to the end of the day, they haven't had any water. Okay. Maybe okay. it's just been sodas or other things. Yeah. A simple hack. You can do this yourself to determine if you're dehydrated. Dr. Batra. Well, so this is just a test of skin trigger. So what Dr. Stork is doing is he's pinching my hand and he's seeing how fast the skin retracts down. And since I've been drinking water all morning, it should retract down pretty quickly, I hope. And if it doesn't, that's called skin tenting. Mm -hmm. And it can be a sign of dehydration. And the thing about dehydration, everyone's doing it right now, but look, it just be, <laughs> yeah. if your skin tense, it doesn't necessarily mean you're dehydrated, but it's, what I would say is, test it when you know you're fully hydrated. Yeah. Then you have your baseline. Exactly. Okay, because we're all different. Like Drew? I'm dehydrated. Yeah. Well, he might be, but you know what I actually like this hack most for is if you have small kids. Yes. Because it's really easy for them to get dehydrated. And this is just a really quick, easy thing to test. It's not always foolproof. You it's have to not at all body. foolproof. You have, but, if you're worried at all that your, your kid is, is not getting enough fluids in, and you're worried, and one of the other things, you know, when your child is crying, and you, you're not sure why, and they're no longer making any tears, and you can just tell that, and, and they're not making a lot of urine, you know, you, you gotta get that checked out yes. sooner rather than later.